Well, after uh, the weekend match, how are you, how are you guys feeling? Do you, do you see progress every time they get out there and play? Um, yeah, of course. I mean, there are always little things that uh, you can do better, and you dig into those things in training every week. Um, you know, kind of goes in cycles. You get one thing right sometimes, and then another thing you need to get right. Um, the key is you want to put together the a complete performance, mm -hmm. uh, game after game, if possible. But we've been defending extremely well. We've put up four clean sheets in the first nine games. That was an issue last year, yeah. uh, if you remember. Um, you know, we're creating chances. Last couple games, we've done really well in possession. Um, against Seattle on the road and at home, some of our highest possession numbers. We're getting chances to finish. The one area, the one piece that you'd say has been lacking, which I said after the game, I'm sure you heard it, mm -hmm. uh, is the, the finishing. Uh, so we'll continue to work on that. I'm confident that will come, just like last year. Uh, we've been top three in the league the last two years in goals scored, so it's not like that's been an issue in the past. We just need to get, get hot. And, you know, finishing is a, is a streaky thing sometimes. Um, once you get the, the floodgates opened, uh, the goals seem to come. So I'm confident that that will happen. How would you feel about uh, uh, Diego's play uh, being the first time back from the injury? I thought he did, did well. Um, you know, he's been out uh, six months. Mm -hmm. It's his first game minutes, real game minutes. He's been uh, training for just a week and a half. But I thought his 40-minute... Uh, clip was was very good. He had a couple chances. He looked lively. He'll continue to get better and better, more in a rhythm as time goes on. I thought physically he looked good as well. He looked quick. He looked fit. Um, he's he's certainly a difference maker for us. There's no team in the league that uh, would play as well without a DP um, and a DP that's an all star and a DP that's produced. So it's it's like we've had a uh, summer signing almost before the summer's here. You obviously Diego contributes a lot to the attack, and that's um, you know part of the reason why you guys haven't maybe been able to finish. But when you look at um, I guess how you approach the off season, do you think that you may have benefited bringing in someone else, or do you kind of reflect on that at all? Um, it's easy to play hindsight United. We'd all be uh, undefeated if we were the man if we were managing hindsight United. So I mean, we got Valeri back. And we're going to look ahead, not behind at this stage in the season. There's no mm -hmm. reason to start to play that game. You can play it if you want, but I'm not. And uh, you've mentioned, you know, importance of DPs and Valeri being a DP that's an all-star. You, you've made the decision to sit Audi in the last two games. Um, who is Coming a DP. tough today, Jamie. You're a hard-hitting reporter. <laughs> Coming tough today, aren't you? I'm uh, just... I, I think I've talked about that decision. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, ultimately we got, we have two good strikers, Maxi and Adi. If you look at uh, the production, they both scored goals. We rotated mm -hmm. them last year. Um, you know, we'll rotate them this year at times. It's uh, like I said after the game, it's about finding the hot hand. Um, you know, I started uh, Adi for seven games, and you know he had a little bit of an injury going into the Seattle game, which played into that decision. But also, I felt you know it was time to give Maxi a, a bit of a run. Um, you know, and uh, you know, and then obviously going in this last game, there there were a lot of different layers, and me making that decision to to start Maxi. Um, you know, you're always looking at with all your players, you're looking at current form, you're looking at health, you're looking at tactics. You know, so um, I could tell you for 20 minutes why I picked Maxi, but but uh, you don't have time for that. <laughs> Maybe we'll get a cup of coffee. We'll, we can chat about all the reasons why I started Maxi. But I really felt like. If you want a, a, a quick layer, uh, I really felt like against Vancouver that we'd either get an early goal or a late goal. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, with Maxi, I felt his energy to start the game, um, you know, his, his ability to press, uh, his ability to create problems uh, tactically uh, in his movement for Con Waston. I felt we'd find a goal through him maybe in the first half. And uh, he had the chance, the header, that frankly should have been a goal um, you know but if we didn't find the goal in the first half I felt we'd find it in that last 30 I knew we'd be bringing on Adi and Valeri and uh, you know those are two two good subs to have available um, and uh, frankly the game played out 
how I thought it'd be, tight game, and uh, you know we had chances in that last 30 when we brought on Addy and we brought on Valeri, but uh, just didn't just didn't fall. But uh, you know ultimately it wasn't for lack of chances. Sometimes you start a guy uh, in hopes that he'll score the goal, but also you know you have you know with Maxi and Addy, you know have another guy coming in off the game. So how do you want to start? How do you want to end? Um, those are always decisions that you have to look at and think about every game. And we'll continue to make decisions based on the game, form, and health, of course, with those two players. How's uh, Will Johnson doing? I know he played uh, played a, a, a lot uh, with, for T2 not too long ago. Yeah, played uh, played played 90 minutes yeah. uh, yesterday. So okay. uh, and he played uh, 63 minutes mm -hmm. uh, the day the game before. Mm -hmm. So uh, he's he's progressing. And he continues to look uh, better and better. You know, as I've said before, his position's a little bit tricky to integrate because we don't sub our holding mids typically, no. um, similar to central defenders and goalkeepers. So, you know, you could have him on the bench uh, and you can get him in a game, but ultimately we got to move him along in a direction where he can eventually start. To do that, you need to get him major minutes with T2. Whereas Valeri, we can kind of bleed him along uh, off the bench. Do you have a kind of a timeline for when he could make that start? Um, it just depends on how he looks. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, there's with his injury, there's no timeline. I mean, his injury, the return to play is anywhere from six to ten months. Um, so with, uh, with an ACL, it's uh, really black and white, uh, the return to play. So they're, they're completely different injuries, um, and they're playing completely different positions. Um, so... You know, he may need another couple games with T2. He, he may, uh, depending on uh, how we approach these next three games, we, we may have him on the bench and bring him off the bench one game and then get him a game with T2. But eventually, like I said, we want to move him in a direction where he's, he's ready to start and play uh, 90 minutes because, like I said, uh, in that position, we don't want to have to make subs, um, you know, within that position if possible. How much more difficult does it make it that will is will as far as what he means to the team just you know vocally you say you know uh, maybe get him on the bench is it fair to say if it was another guy you, you, that might not happen just because you want his presence yeah I mean I think there's a balance there I mean will obviously is our captain he's a leader um, you know he brings a you know another guy in the locker room that's experienced um, confident so uh, yeah but but ultimately you only you only, you only get six subs you know, so you got to figure out um, how you can cover yourself. Um, you know, in the holding mid spot, you typically, uh, you know, we typically dress three attacking subs. We, we, we dress a holding, one holding mid sub, one central defender sub, and one outside back sub. Um, so that's where it becomes a little bit more complicated uh, in his position because if you, you dress him but he's not ready, if we have taken injury five minutes in the game, then now we're in trouble. Um, so I mean, that's where we have to be a little bit careful with that. Um, but yeah, we'd love to have him uh, integrated into the team. He's already integrated into training, and you know he's there with the guys before games, after games, uh, um, even though he's not on the bench. So we want him back. Obviously, he's a good player for us. He's our captain. Um, but it's a little bit tricky in getting him minutes with T2, making sure he's ready to play, but also integrating him on the bench, off the bench at times. We're gonna have to just, you know, be smart with that. Last season, you guys, uh, you, you have two more points at this point than you had last season at this point, and you, you guys obviously know how the slow start kind of hurt you. Do you feel a little bit of pressure, especially with going on the road now to get some results? Um, there are 11 teams out of 20 teams in this league that have 10 points or less. So over 50% of the league have the exact same points. We have, there are four teams in the Western Conference on 10 points or less. So we're right pretty much where everybody else is. So um, like I said, I mean, you'll, you'll, you'll look at the past and analyze that and write the stories and all that. But ultimately, we're pretty much right there where most of the league is. And we're not even up, up to the third of the season point. Um, we got to keep grinding for points. We got to keep clawing for points. Um, you look at the last two years, uh, we got a lot of points, 57 the first year, 49 the next year. Even though we started slow, we ended with 49 points, which is usually good enough to get you in. 
So maybe we haven't gone on uh, enough win streaks, um, but we've slow drip points throughout the season by clawing and grinding and fighting. And uh, we've dropped points, three pointers sometimes, but we made up for it uh, in other games, always. So we're gonna continue to do that. That's not gonna change. And uh, ultimately, I'm not really concerned about categorizing you know, where we're at. I'm concerned about points. It's about getting in the playoffs. We missed it last year by one point. And uh, frankly, that get gets, again, lost in the shuffle, you know, but you look at the two years, we've gotten a lot of points in both those years. Um, and we're gonna get a lot of points this year. And it's about getting in the playoffs, simple. It doesn't matter how it happens. It doesn't matter when we get those points. It matters about getting points. But right now, if you're looking at slow start, fast start, then over half the league has a slow start or fast start, however you wanna say it. Do you feel